This week's question is one that I get asked a lot. How do I use TensorFlow in an IDE like PyCharm? And even if I have it already installed, it just doesn't seem to get recognized. And that's a great question, so let's take a look. Here's the IDE PyCharm, and it's a personal favorite of mine. If you've used Android Studio, it'll look very familiar. Here you can see I have a very simple script written in Python, but it's saying that I don't have a module named TensorFlow or even a module named NumPy. But if I go to a terminal and I type Python and then import TensorFlow as TF, and I'll print the version of TensorFlow, you'll see that I have TensorFlow 1.6 installed. So what gives? PyCharm uses a virtual environment to run TensorFlow in. And in this case, TensorFlow and NumPy haven't been installed to this specific virtual environment. So let's take a look at installing them now. What's nice about this is that I can try different versions of the library on different virtual machines. So in this virtual environment, I'll install a later version of TensorFlow. So in my project settings, if I go to the project interpreter, take a look at a list of packages, and then click the plus, I'll get a list of packages that I can install, and TensorFlow is one of these. What's really neat about this is that I can then specify the version I want to install. So I can pick, for example, 1.8, which was the most up-to-date version at the time of recording this. You can see now that it's installing version 1.8. Now you can see it has successfully installed, and I have 1.8, so I can escape out of there and go back to the editor. Sometimes it takes the editor a few moments to catch up, so the red underlines are still there. But now I can run my app without an error, and in my console, you can see that it's training and the values are coming out. So that's all it took to get TensorFlow working in PyCharm. And this leads nicely to the next video, where you can learn all about using an IDE for step-by-step -step debugging. So don't forget to hit that Subscribe button. Thank you.